Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a paracord deployment lanyard, which is a quick way to store a large amount of paracord or any amount of paracord, just like this, and have it easily deployable. So let's get into how to tie it. All right, the first step in creating a paracord deployment lanyard is to fuse a piece of paracord to itself to create a bite in the line. So what I have here on the other end of this is about 25 feet of paracord, and the first step is going to be actually fusing the paracord. So what you want to use is your fist is kind of a guideline. You want that fused paracord, where it fuses to itself just like this, to be inside the length of your a closed fist. So. What that does is once this is all together, it gives you that amount with the bite to actually you know, put hook a carabiner or something like that on to store the deployment lanyard. So whatever size you want your bite to be, it needs to be determined at this point as you're creating it. So now that I've got that size, what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm going to fuse this paracord. So I'll wait until this gets liquid hot and then fuse that piece of paracord to itself, just like that. So what I've done is create a bite like that. Then what I'll do is I'll put this into my closed fist and then I'll start wrapping the paracord like this. So this is that 25 foot length. And what you want at the end is to leave about six feet. And that six foot measurement is actually going to wrap around Sorry about that, just measuring some stuff out here. All right, so once you think you have about six feet left, you're going to start wrapping. So what I'll do is, so here's the, the bite like that, and I'm actually going to move that down just a little bit. So I've got about that much length there. Now what I'll do is kind of wrap all this around like this, and I'm going to trap the wrapping. So once you make your first pass around the mass of paracord, you're going to create an X, and as you continue wrapping, that locks in that paracord, and you're just going to tightly wrap around, continuing that pattern all the way down. Switch real quick so you can see this a little better. Just be careful not to cross those parts there. So once you get to the end, you have a couple of options. You can either fuse this paracord at the end directly to itself. You can create another lock in here, which I would recommend doing. So loosen that up, slip that paracord down in there just like that, and then tighten it up again. So you're additionally kind of locking it off to the bottom of the wrap. And then for extra security, you could go ahead and fuse the end of this here. I'll just wait until that gets hot. And then press that into the paracord, kind of fusing that down again. So now when you hook this up to your carabiner and you go to pull it, you'll pull it, it'll, t it'll basically cut away from the carabiner you're holding it onto. And then you just simply pull it through like this. So this is 25 feet of paracord. And if you kind of hold it in your hand like that, it should all come out just fine without getting tangled. And at the end, you, you know, of course, you've got that piece. If you fused it, you can just cut that away like that. And that is paracord deployment liner. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.